situation grave in the long Nungai, a landslide hit life in Langol Lai Manai and Kurai Chinsit Road. Chief Minister Birel reiterates that government will build houses for flood victims during his visit to flood hit areas in Kurai. Chief Minister words of stern action against those involved in corruption and fake encounter cases. Former Chief Secretary Oinam Navikishore denies corruption allegations, says government has accepted his resignation. And Impali's police arrest man with heroin number four worth more than rupees 16 lakhs in international market. Hello and welcome to Impact News. For watching Prime Time English News Bulletin, and I'm Victoria Rajkumari bringing you the top stories. The flood situation is grave in Nilong Nungai after the bridging of Ningti Kong Dam. The level of water is rising as the damage has been not been repaid. Disappointed residents of Lilong Nungai asked if Nungai is not a part of Manipur as the government has not paid any attention to the flood situation of the area. Nungai and other five villages have been flooded due to the bridging of Ningti Kong Dam for many times in the past. The area was flooded in the beginning of Muslim communities of fasting month and the flood condition became grim after the bridge in the dam for the fourth time. The flood hit people are taking shelter at the relief camp set up by themselves without any assistance from the government. They said the government once gave rice and pulses and after that no help came from the government. They complain that they are facing difficulties due to non availability of food and safe drinking water. Nungai Farm, Yerum Pumbi Farm, Leishangtem Farm, Kekman Farm, Nungai Dolai Thabi Farm, Hameng Kom, and Ketrikon Farm have been submerged under flood water. Most of the houses in Nungai are inundated by water till the roof. There is apprehension that the situation may become more critical if the villagers wait for the government to repair the dam. The villages are trying to block the water with their own resources without waiting for the government help. Ahan bagi ceng ang share keji ama na tragana thau keji ma kai ama pawa ama sugu ma mateng parpe hen ba ma kha ta abda kari gumba ma fau phang da ba Manipur gi manung da ikhoi gi khul si chan da bra kari gi no hai ba matam da sarkar da gi kari gumba chap cha ba mateng ama fau phang da ba sinam maram mora ga ela i mayam na khaji khaji ma khona ta khai ama cha tho e ikhoi da ta khai am ni en bi re thak na ba ising si yam na wa re ada ising cha yam na wa re ikhoi lai ri ba sa phajana lai ba na tre tumpham chapham ahing nung then khang dre ikhoi lo sing ji amu na u ba yana na ba sinbi ba ga loina na akhoi tha ama he na jaga si da hanjan hanjan isau mari rak na ga leibani na government na piri ba relimet rensi amatik sa de jaga amada na akhoi amang sang oi ba jaga amada na isinga mukshok ba jaga amada khitang cha thoga mu iru jaba sumain tauri ba port si da yam toi na ising si da di kona na ba pbu akhoi gi thak na na ba se na hai bani psc di gi thoban district amadi kaksing district ka loina na gari ama khak lai hai adu gi gari du na district si yen ba thung de hai bani sing ba tongan ba responsible thaitok pa gi phibam se tobi ganu khoi thak na na ba ising gi da makta miyam na mamita gi mapi ta hau ba du mathu government gi mathak da ta ba oi gani Landslide continued to hit different sites after incessant rains hit state for several days. Many houses have been swept away while several others have been severely damaged by landslide at Lamanai Ramgailong village in Langol. The landslide struck the village last night around 8 p.m. A church and eight houses have been submerged under the earth. However, there is no report of human casualties. They are apprehension that if rain continues, landslide might strike again. The affected people are taking shelter at Ramgailong LP school. Residents of the area have started fleeing the place. Another landslide at about 200 meters from the area has destroyed a house. The family is taking shelter at a neighbor's house. 
danger oi ba phibam amada le da hana su one week before yum kai amrum toi khaba khar yao khrab ni adu akoi na concern sdo khang de atai tai da che budi pikhat khre sarkar gi mai kai de ge pang bi bi aba makai yam thu na pang bi na ba akoi na appeal to boni hauji hauji chu so iba yum sing chai yum yum kai loi na toi khrab ni na lai pham lai tram ni na hauji akoi lai ri ba si ge akoi ge primary school si asida kan na sem sari bani sem sa ba loi da ngai ri hauji imum khara di hongjin da na lai ra People's movement was hit by the landslide which occurred at Kulai Tinsit Road near Mega Manipur School. The landslide which occurred due to heavy rains last night had temporarily affected traffic movement this morning. A water supply scheme is under construction in the area as a part of the Thobal multi-purpose project. The earth which was piled up for the construction came down due to the rains. Mud pile up on a stretch of about 200 feet of the road caused inconveniences to the commuters. Worker of Keystone Infra, which is a building project, used excavator and other machines to clear the earth. Residents of the locality said they face the same problem whenever it rains and appeals to the government to look into the matter. Chief Minister Nong Thombam Bireno once again reiterated that the government will build houses for flood victims affected by the present flood in the state. The Chief Minister this morning visited the flood hit areas in Kurai constituency. He was accompanied by Kurai MLA, El Sosindro and IFCD officials. The Chief Minister provided financial assistance to flood victims who are taking shelter at relief camps. Talking to media person during the visit, Virin assured that houses will be constructed for the flood affected families. He said dredging of rivers across the state will be carried out to prevent flash floods in the future. Birin also said measures will be taken to clean the drainages. He appealed to people to help maintain the drainages as well as government alone cannot be responsible for developmental works. Birin said the state government has urged the centre to provide 12,000 metric tonne of rice to help the flood victims. Replying to Impact News query on tripartite talks, the Chief Minister said talks will be held soon and the talks will be a political dialogue. He maintained that they will not necessarily focus on agreement or disagreement on a demand. I identify the yam, but the agriculture, but young is a young is you, Jixi, Singzi, Makulakanda, Muxum, Tumbaya River. Hanagi sings our book on the center of Tumudunama. He sings our book, Rakan, the Kongwa Lugang, the Jumaka, and the Tungalak one, the Singa, me, but Jixi. I know he still serves as a Nutigita. We had it. Some like political dialogue, dialogue, Hobony, Sidai, the Koya do people in a Turkey, the Badu Lobo, and the Turkey, the question, Kashuri tree. What is another solution? Punum of Porco, the Mina, what is Hava, who would do other need? Government as a continuation, what the government had decided, Maduda Koya, Stent Tony, a Tobu Karino Pamido, Democracy in the District, the boundary, the Karida, Karida, boundary commission, the Hanasu Ladina, and the boundary is again, never go in a labor corpora, the Gumadu Kari Yangsi, Kosige, what do you got a Sana Galakani? Aduga Ekoi, the Madu Rolbek, the Corpora, the Badu. Public Health Engineering Department Minister Lucy Diko today said water supply are often affected during floods in the state as reservoirs remained inundated by flood water. The minister assured that measures will be taken to resolve the problem of non ability of water by the people during floods. He also assured the people of developing the water supply schemes at Ghari Makalekai and Changangai Maning in near future. Minister Losi Diko, accompanied by officials of PHED officials, today inspected water supply schemes at Ghari Makalekai and Changangai Maning. He said the old pipes and other items will be repaired soon. Responding to a query by the Impact News, the minister said, the government is preparing a measure plan to prevent inundation of reservoirs during floods. 
department has already planned to take up in an uh, organized manner and then it's already in the plant and then we are hopeful that it will be taken up very soon. We are given our best. Our situation in Manipur, see we don't even have place to take water when there is flood. So we have a lot of a major plant in, in, in the pipeline so we will take up these things. We are supplying water, drinking water to everywhere but uh, there is no appreciation. My department, they are doing, my engineers are really doing. <laughs> Individual clubs and organizations have been contributing to the Chief Minister's relief fund in connection with the widespread flood facing the state. All Manipur Skill Development Union today handed over flood relief materials to Chief Minister Nong Thombambirin. Members of All Manipur Skill Development Union, including convener S. Presojit Sarma, handed over 100 water tankers, 40 bags of 50 kg rice, and 10 potato bags. Honorable CM N Biren Singada, Akoye Manipur ki singi sawo mari le na na Akoye na water tank samu khaka Akoye Akoye Union ki Akoye All Manipur Skill Development Entrepreneur Union ka pull laga Akoye cha na thang na ba sing Hawaii thum kara deng Akoye na smai na leba ki da mukta ne na donation ka tukjari. Indian Red Cross Society Thobal District Branch under the aegis of DC Thobal O Navikishor has been inspecting flood affected areas of the district since July 4. Wang Kim MLA K Mega Chandra also provided a vehicle and a five tents each for the flood affected people of Waitho Laimang Chingong, Moijing Chingyang Laikai, and Moijing Wang Mataba Kong to set up relief camps. Oriental, Oriental Club Kongwen Wangjil organized a relief camp for flood victims today. Food items like rice, pulses and potatoes were also distributed under the guidance of Yai School MLA TH Sattabrata. The club also organized a free medical camp under the supervision of CMO Imphal East. Seba Bharati Manipur distributed flood items into the flood victims in Imphal East District today. 72 bags of rice, 2 bags of pulses and 2 bags of salt were handed over to the clubs of the affected areas. Chief Minister Nong Thombambirin has warned of stern action against those involved in corruption and fake encounter cases. He appealed to the public to extend all possible cooperation in taking action against them. Biren was speaking as a chief guest at the One Day Awareness Program on various workers' welfare schemes come labor cards distribution held at his residence at Luang Sambam in Imphal today. Maintaining that uplifting the needy and the women is a must if the state has to achieve equal development, the chief minister further stated that the state government is planning to introduce a special scheme for widows from the current financial year. Sharing his views on the main causes of natural calamities and flash floods presently experienced in the state, the chief minister opined that human development should not disturb the mother nature. He assured that government will translate all its commitments into action one after another. Later, the chief minister distributed labor cards to selected beneficiaries at the function. Labor Employment Minister T. H. Radesham, Kontha Khabam Jila Parishad member P. Bimola, Deputy Labor Commissioner E. Tomba, Manipur Building Construction Welfare Board Chairperson S. Prasojit, Vice Chairman of Manipur Infrastructure Development Agency M. Ashni Kumar and President of BJP Hangang Mandal K. H. Jilla were among those present at the event. I don't care. I give the Prazagi service of Winni Prazagi, Fanabata Winni, Miam, Fanabata Winni, Sarkar, I do Prazal, I can't let you in. I in a Prazagi, I'm the Fanabata Buddha, Miam, I'm the Fanabata Buddha, Corruption to Rambami. Corruption channel me, Leva Prasamiam, Gimayoka Leva, Misham Hatba, Fact Encounter Channel me, Aina Book Togo Matamda, Aina Excel Logo Matamda, Politics to Virokano, Mado Ai, Aigi, Aigi, Weba. I want the Sotoma Lalava to Viroyani. I want the Soina Lalava, Aina Prasagi Man and a corruption to Roba, Prasagi Man and a Patava to Roba, Prasagi Senzat and that or Maba, a channel Magda, I want the Sun to Viroyani. Aina Togo Matam the Sotoma. Aina Prasagi, the Mukta against Leva Missing in Matata, 
प्रजा की लेबा की मानने पर तो वो मिसिंग ही मतलब कनाल इज़ जब अतुलनता से ना वोट पा या तो का मिशन द कुलाई थार का हाथ पर तो पा तो वो मायाओं की मतलब क्या इन एक्शन लोर को मतलब जब मतलब प्रजा ना सपोर्ट हो गयो Former Chief Secretary Oinam Navikisho has denied corruption allegation against him that he was involved in Manipur Development Society MDS Kam. Referring the allegation made by a local TV channel, the former Chief Secretary today told the media persons that his transfer was not in any way related to the handing over of the MDS case to the CBI by the state government, as claimed by the local TV channel. Navakishore said the Chief Secretary is an ex-officio chairman of MDS and that the role of a Chief Secretary is to chair the meetings of MDS. He claimed that the accounts of MDS were not operated by the Chief Secretary during his time and that it was operated by Project Director, Administrative Officer. He maintained that as the Chief Secretary, he committed no errors. Navakishore said there were loopholes in MDS before he took over. He added that the Vigilance Department was requested to look into the matter. After the new government took over, the CBI was asked to take over the case from the Vigilance Department in May this year. Navikishore said the details will be revealed after the CBI inquiry. He said the news will have been complete had the local TV channel revealed the source of the information. Meanwhile, the government has accepted his voluntary retirement. Aina hajan yang berdiri voluntary retirement nama, malu yang government official malu retire tau buat sih dah retirement yang ayah bersih pidring ayat dah hari bawa officer sih kita tak tahu vigilance case libra department yang inquiry libra hari bersih ikhwan yang verify tau nih. Libra, mai matang tak kari mata case libra, mai matang tak suspension libra, department yang inquiry libra, masih from angle specially vigilance angle lagi clear tau nih hari matang dah authority itu nih yara ga ikhwan dah ingat dah Ademai tu orang determines ki ayah bersih PB rupa orang bani ayah na kanjai, adu na hari beri korsi ki matung ni dia isi I am clear from all angles of vigilance ayah na tu adem susut hamzah ki. Women of Bisnupur district took out a rally from Kuala Bazar towards the Chief Minister's bungalow. A team of police stopped the rally near the Jonaston Higher Secondary School. However, the protester tried to force their way through, but in vain. The later stage is set in at the spot. Later, some representatives were allowed to meet the Chief Minister. Manipur da Chief Secretary Madam Sadna Ulnam na bukhe so lokho ko bisi kari di Madam ni damak na ho magi maran kari no loyna loyna na mitok piran sa miron miri khanga badi da phang bisem ni bisna kari Madam ni no magi maran magi sa na prajamya Manipur prajamya na tini di bese magi maran do. Asida asid tau bni asin asid tau bni maragi maran lay hai na aku ni lokho ko na hai bese aku inga si si yang di mafang da aku ni thanga sani. Sanakaitel Nupi Kanglub, Awateng Banglub and Lamphel Sanakaitel Development Authority stays a sit-in against the removal of Oinam Navukishor as the Chief Secretary. Several men and women took part at the sit-in held at Lamphel Sanakaitel. Now let's take a small commercial break. We'll be right back in a short while. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You are watching Primetime English News. Imphalis police today held a person with heroin number no. 4 estimated worth around rupees 16 lakhs and 25,000 in the international market. The drug weighing 106 grams was seized from H. Kamlian Monk, 39 years, son of late Kinjia Lang from Singhat Simbing in Churachanpur, presently staying at tribal colony New Chekon. A team of police, including Civil Arms Reserve DSP, Roni Mayengbam and Narcotics OC P. John, led by additional SP W. Kassar, arrested Kamlian Monk under the instruction of SP K. Kabiv. The police team conducted search this afternoon around 3 at Chekon Crossing and checked an auto rickshaw. Kamlian was carrying a JBK company speaker box in a suspicious manner when, people, when police stopped him. Police took him to the Imphalis magistrate and opened the speaker box before him. The heroin was concealed inside the speaker. Police has registered a case against him.
Patsoi MLA AK Mirabai inaugurated an information center at Lukram Lerak Youth Club in Sagolban, Lukram Lerak today. Speaking at the function organized by Lukram Lerak Youth Club, the MLA said the club is fortunate to have this center at this age of information technology. She also asserted that unity is needed for the development of the society. Manipur is a sukimatic yamna lure of a tampa mamada, housing lady, lady by law and order give him the world. Here I'm putting Matanga see a quay, a what punatan by a park a mawadi, a quay building, Togan Tonganba, some good sagat by my arms in door, Lamjen Tanaraga, Sangaduna Lebegi Mahuta, a noble policy program Kaya, a quay Yakaya Yatuna. Anoba Nasidi Ta Humapung Pak Rabanina Anoba Lamjen Anoba Aikwegi Tungi Pichergi Kayat Yatpagi Matam Yore Hai Oinam MLA El Radha Kishore has stated that the Pengba and Ngaton varieties will be available in abundance in Manipur. He was speaking during an inspection of fish hatchery and seed farm run by Tabul Welfare Committee at Tabul today. He also a promise of government help to the farmers affected by the flood. Naga Ampal Phagwai Sangbam Laikai Apunba Maira Pai Bilop stays a sit-in today demanding the restoration of road from Kangjabi Lerak Machin to Khoyathong and safe drinking water. Taking part in the sit-in, convener of the Mera Pai B. Lub, H. Bimola said, the former government has widened the road in 2013 which affected many homes and the road is not repaired till date. She said, the locals are facing grievous inconveniences. Lambisi ya di hai bina hai raga koi chahi tara manga tara ki matak ta koi ising se saab chungpang phangal tre no ba sarkar si na atu ba matam da masi lo chena ba paykhat biu a koi bu ising phangan biu lambisi atu ba matam da sinjan biu hauji a koi July thaji ba monung da ma koi na sarkar na kari gumba positive response ma pibi akta na ta wii akta ba targa di situation ma yaam ma changchal ani. Members of United Veteran Sports Association UVSA Lilong Chajing, which won the 19 Football Challenge Cup today, presented food items and financial aid to the old age home at Mong Sangai Makalekai. Sanaton, Buddha, and Mohan, who backed the best player, best midfielder, and man of the match prizes, respectively, presented the cash awards they have won in the tournament to the old age home. District Legal Services Authority Thobal organized a National Lok Adalat at Thobal Court Complex yesterday. Cases related to nationalized banks, rural banks and motor vehicles of Chandal and Thobal districts were heard at the Lok Adalat. A total of 105 cases related to motor vehicles were settled and rupees 11,500 were collected. Six cases of Chandal districts were settled and a total of 5 lakhs 60,000 rupees were recovered. The Lok Adalat, comprising of District and Station Judge Thaubal Salam Imota and Chief Judicial Magistrate Thaubal Ojem Mutum, settled 20 out of 39 cases. As part of his flood relief works, medical teams of Ayush conducted a free medical game at Wankhoi Angom Lekai. The game was organized by the Directorate of Ayush Imphal under the leadership of Health Minister L. Jenta Kumar. Free medicines were also distributed at the game. It may be mentioned that the Ayush teams have been conducting free medical games since the 4th of this month. <laughs> Maru in a low cuba, la hova, a degidi, oigi, puri, 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 to puri, to Manaya, mother thing a day. Maru in announcing the Shania Matting Mede, I sing what Pano, Nara, and Okundi, Anavazi, Adunayama Tingi, Aduna Quenola, is the only Anavaji, but the Gangatana, Ida, Langakilim, the people singing Matta Quen, Evernish program, Mamasu, we am the Ayushika reminder that we have a Begi, Ernest program, Yokogi, a Quagi literature, Liblet, and Mamam Sulin and Jose. Center of Sales and Medical Representatives Union, CRU Imphal Unit, organized a health camp at Uchekon Jubras Pali, one of the areas which has remained submerged under flood water. Four doctors check up over 
150 patients and distributed medicines free of cost to the patients. Speaking to Impact News, Secretary of the Union said the health camp was organized after the spread of waterborne diseases like diarrhea, skin diseases due to the flood. He said su such health camps will be held in different areas. Social Young Club SYC Kawa organized a free eye camp at Ubudho Moirang Pokpa Temple at Kawa Lai Fakpram Laikai. The camp was sponsored by Tondon Optical Center, Rims Road. A total of 180 persons were provided free eye checkup and glass frames were distributed free of course to persons with eye defect. Members of SYC Kawa said the free eye camp was part of the initiative taken by the club for the welfare of the people. Manipur Terries and staff of Jenims organized a free medical camp at Matai village in Hangang constituency today. Many people of the area attended the camp. A child specialist and a mobile dental clinic provided free medical checkup at the camp and free medicines were also distributed to the patients. Later, Indian Council of Agriculture Research ICAR set up a guidance sales and health training program on the sowing of kharif crops. An assistant of rupees 1 lakh has been given to Kareta Tokchom Roji as an encouragement to sports persons who belong to poor families. The help was provided by AMPP, AMMIK and editor of Naharolgi Thaudang, Khoirom Loya Lakpa through the organization's Helping Hand. Roji from Patsoi Part 4 will participate in the South Asia Karate Championship to be held in Colombia. She has also been selected for a Karate Championship to be held in Egypt. Aye, Sanupi, Rosi, India, Pumbagi, when a mama don't talk up, India, when a Kalakanda, Kalamboda, International Karate, Championship, Sigin Utama, Indiana Kalakpani, Mark Hunter Agaju, Sports, Yaski Haitare, Youth Affairs and Sports, Manipur Gomen, Mike, the Gi, Pudunjab, the Pang Pang, the Nale, Banina, Magumba, Masang Tulibi, Nupi Masama, Kamaitona Targal, Hinduino, Magi Sangaba, Shenpam Kudima, Huina Putoji, Haidananga Sisi, Mangonda Lufala Amagi. Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Imphal West District Council organized a painting competition for students on the theme Making Disturbance Free Education Zone at Manipur College, Bishum Thong. The competition was held in two categories from class 3 to 6 and class 7 to 10. 150 students from different schools participated in the competition. Two persons rescued a Bengal monitor lizard in Kumbi in Bishnupur district and handed over to Kumbi police station. The lizard was handed over to people for animal PFA Manipur for necessary procedure. PFA Manipur in a press release said the animal is listed in Schedule 1 of WLPA will be relocated at a suitable site with the help of Wildlife Department. Pretty Secrets, a company which produces laundry, slipwear, swimwear, shepherds and accessories, opened its showroom at Thangal Bazaar today. This is the first showroom in the entire Northeast. So Pretty Secrets is a laundry brand and we actually also sell nightwear, activewear and swimwear. Uh, the USP of Pretty Secrets is extreme comfort with uncompromising style. So all our products are engineered with immense quality, uh, top comfort and everything that you see is super colourful, extremely pretty and really, really, really stylish. That's the USP of Pretty Secrets. Now the sports news. Two-day match commissioner and referee assessors course organised by All Manipur Football Association concluded today. 15 retired referees from Imphal West, Imphal East, Thaubal, Bishnupur, Kokching, Chandal, Okrul and Jiribam district including one woman took part in the course. The participants were trained on the roles of a match commissioner and a referee assessor at the time of conflicts and unwanted incidents during a football match. 
if AMFA referee instructor L. Yaima, senior match commissioner and referee assessor KSH Modu Chandra and KSH Sarat Chandra played the key role in training the 15 participants in the course under the leadership of AIFF referee instructor Jadeb Chandra Haubam. AMFA President A. Sanatomba and Assistant General Secretary L. Jyoti Moy Roy was among those present at the concluding event. Main role of Iriva, HOR, Equator TV River, fruitful knowledge, Equator Shuchu Shu, even a district district in the Satuna, Lakada River, coming to an amen singer, Equator, implement over, a kite to the Nam, how to increase the referee company, have a Sida Equator, Nores, Puna, Pamina, and Loge, even a familiar knowledge in a say, Moto Mato in a for the root of the game, the car labor, young singer, Equator, Shuchu Shu, even a Mate Pamuna, Mother Nevis. Before we end, let's take a quick look at the headlines once again. Flood situation grave in Lilong Nungai, a landslide hit live in Langwa Laimanai and Kurai Tinsit Road. Chief Minister Birel reiterates that government will build houses for flood victims during his visit to flood hit areas in Kurai. Chief Minister warns of stern action against those involved in corruption and fact encounter cases. Former Chief Secretary Oinam Navikishor denies corruption allegations and says government has accepted his resignation. An Imphalis police arrest a man with heroin number 4 more than rupees 16 lakhs in international market. 